Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. On The Flash Season 5, we're going to be talking about the new Season 6 villain casting that's currently going on right now that's been announced. Also, we've got a potential crossover poster. We're going to be going over it, whether it's fake or new, whether I like it or not. And also, we're going to be asking a few questions, so a few different theories if we get around to it later in this video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so before we get into this, just quickly, one of my final announcements, I am still running my GoFundMe page. You guys are amazing who have supported me. We've raised over £355 and... That's not including the super chats, that's about nearing 400 right now. For my travels to San Diego Comic Con this very year, so I can't thank you enough to the people that have helped me. It really means the most, and you will all be entered into my San Diego Comic Con exclusive Funko Pop figure giveaways. I'm going to buy a load. Also, those exclusive Comic Con bags that they have for The Flash, Supergirl, Arrow, and Legends, and anything else I can get my hand on. You guys are all entered into that, and I can't thank you enough. So, this is my final announcement. So, for all of you who want to be entered into that, and if you do feel like contributing, and it doesn't matter if you don't, please be sure to check out the link in the description below for my GoFundMe page. And if you can't, no worries. Just keep on watching the videos, keep on leaving a like. That means the most to me. So thank you guys. Let's get into this video. Okay, let's get into today's video. So the first bit we're going to be talking about is the season six villain casting. So we've got some official news. This is like the first batch of news we've got heading towards the new season, really. And this is very exciting. Although it doesn't reveal much, it reveals some stuff. So this is coming from TV Line. They've got an exclusive about the full casting in some of these different shows and that includes The Flash for season 6. So this is talking about New Blood, so the new people that are going to be cast into the show. So this is the quote on their website. Season 6 will introduce a new male big bad and rumour has it producers are eyeing diverse actors for the part. Okay, so let's break this down. Like I said, it's not massive, but it's a lot to get excited for. So they've officially said that they are casting right now. So they are looking for this person. This person probably is going to play a massive role. Obviously, it's the main big bad, so you could presume that. But they reveal it's going to be a male big bad. So it's not going to be like Cicada in the back half, who is like the true villain of the season. And so this sort of plays into the idea of what we've been sort of theorizing as we head into the new season that it's going to be Red Death and I do feel like it is because they revealed that little teaser back in season 3 for the thinker and I was like nah that's not going to happen that was just an easter egg but it happened so I'm not doubting them this time they mentioned Red Death last season and I definitely think it's going to be happening this season and I think this new male big bad they're going for is a version of Red Death although it's not going to be the same as the comics they can't include Batman so it's not going to be a different version of Bruce Wayne I think it's going to be Red Death I think the costume design is going to be similar if they do go for Red Death but I reckon it will be someone else so I don't think it has to be specifically like any race it could be black could be white could be Chinese really doesn't matter because I think they're making it up for the TV show but using the concept from the comics. So they say rumour has it producers are eyeing diverse actors for the part. So basically because it says rumour it could turn out to be he might be white in the end. So due to the rumours we can presume that maybe they are going for diverse actors therefore not a white Caucasian actor. And this is all males because that is what they're obviously going for with the big bad. So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see if they actually go forward with that. Maybe they find someone really, really good. And maybe it has something to do with what they are doing because maybe they might not introduce this person, whoever they're casting, until later if it is a masked villain. Because, as you know, with Reverse Slash, with Zoom, with Savitar, they always normally... Before they are revealed, their faces are revealed. It's always different actors. So, like, Savitar wasn't Grant the whole season. It was CGI at the start, and then they had the stunt double. Zoom was a stunt double until they revealed Hunter Solomon. So, maybe this actor, we might not see whoever turns out to be the big bad, say it's Red Death, until later in the season. And maybe it's a stunt double if we have the full-on Red Death mask. And I'm really, really hoping for Red Death. Like, seriously, I need a mystery villain, and I need a speedster. 
That's what's been missing from the show, especially in my opinion, in these past two seasons. Okay, so let's move on to talk about the next thing. So this is the crossover poster, and I put this in quotations because it has black lightning in it, and this poster really looks very authentic. It's really, really good. So I'm sort of questioning whether this is real or not, and I don't know. It just seems like these are new photos with Grant. I don't recognize that pose. I don't recognize Melissa's pose. I think Batwoman's pose is new. It kind of looks new. It could be old. I'm not sure, but Katie Lott, she looks kind of in a new pose. Green Arrow, not sure. He has his mask on. I don't know. But the lighting is very, very convincing because you can see they've actually lit it very well. And the only thing that makes me question this Russian supposed leaked poster for Crisis is we've got Black Lightning on here and they haven't announced that Black Lightning is going to be part of the crossover. So potentially that might be a surprise that they were waiting to reveal in the crossover that yeah, Black Lightning, the TV show's not going to be in the crossover, but maybe Black Lightning shows up. And maybe that was something they were going to reveal, but this is very, very convincing, I have to say. I think the design and the way they've done it is very, very real. And it could turn out to be real, it could turn out to be this is a leaked version that is actually coming out. But instead of Black Lightning, it's someone else and someone's photoshopped over. Or it could turn out to be completely fake. I'm sort of on edge. I, I do feel like this is new because it really, really looks like no one could digitally alter these poses because they are very realistic. You know, no heads have been photoshopped on. And the lighting, the way the light hits the characters, you know, depicting the background. Obviously, the background is very similar to the one we had last time. And yeah, it's not showing any of the little details that were in the last poster which was at the CW upfront and it looks like it's completely scrubbed and completely new and the font although it's in Russian obviously I can't read it but it says crisis on infinite earths it is very 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 real and very similar and yeah so obviously the thing to doubt is black lightning but maybe that was a surprise they were going to reveal it could turn out to be real or fake I have no idea but I'm very impressed by this I really do like it and I hope it turns out to be true. I hope Black Lightning shows up and I don't think it's obviously going to be Black Lightning like the TV show. I think maybe he could make a cameo. So I don't know. I'm kind of convinced the Photoshop works really, really good and it looks like Melissa and Grant and all the others are in new poses or poses they've saved from before that we haven't seen. Yeah, I'm not sure. It kind of is too convincing. Let me know what do you think about this in the comments down below because I'm a bit confused right now because it's really, really convincing, but why is Black Lightning there? I don't know. Okay, let's move on to the next part of the video and this is just talking about some questions in regards to Season 6 because we talked about the Season 6 villain. Now some questions as in regards to what's going to be happening next season. Will we see a return of anything? and how will like crisis affect the flash and different things like that okay so there are many possible ways and this is a quote from the executive showrunner the producer Todd Helbing he said there are many possible ways Jessica Parker Kennedy could return to the show so obviously he's not the showrunner the next season so the new showrunner could completely change his mind but it seems like there is definitely a way for Nora to return and they love Jessica she is a fan favorite, and I think there is going to be a way for Nora to return. I'm not getting too optimistic, because as you know, in the past, showrunners have teased, oh, this character is going to come back this season, but they don't turn out. Like, Wynn last season on Supergirl, they were like, oh yeah, Wynn's going to come, and then he doesn't turn up. And they say this season, kind of cautiously optimistic about Wynn returning and that, but in regards to The Flash, kind of optimistic but also kind of cautious about this so would it be a new timeline a new version of Nora maybe it's Dawn Allen and maybe Don Allen shows up as well as the tornado twins because of crisis and you know her whole story last season was about her trying to stop her dad going missing in crisis so maybe she shows up a different version of herself to stop him from going missing in crisis 
Okay, so let's move on to talk about just a few other questions. So, will Eobards return? So, the way Eobards left at the end of this season, obviously teased Crisis. And, yeah, Eobard is most definitely going to return. The whole thing in the crossover is obviously the anti-monitor, but in the TV show, they're going to make it about Eobard Thorn as well. He's going to be massive because it's all about the Flash fighting Reverse Flash. That's what we've been leading up to. The newspaper has now changed. And obviously, because they're not following directly into the comics, they're going to change it and make Eobard a massive thing. So he will return next season. So yeah. Okay. Cisco. Will Cisco return? He's no longer a metahuman. What's going on with Carlos? So in the finale, he decided to take a new route. He took the metahuman cure, which I was sort of like, yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know if I sort of want that or anything. But it seems like he will potentially stick around but at the same time Carlos was actually debating and we don't know whether it's happening or not leaving the show so I reckon San Diego Comic Con I will be there I reckon they're going to do an announcement whether Cisco will be in the season or not and if he's at the panel all the series regulars go to the Comic Con panel so that would mean that he would be in the show or not whether he shows up or not okay so that is it for this video guys Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you can contribute to my travels to San Diego Comic Con, that would mean so much. The GoFundMe page is in the link in the description below. Also, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe. Turn on notifications to not miss any videos. So, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.